Today I'm going to show you the easiest way I know how to add PayPal shopping buttons to your website. This works for all PayPal buttons and you don't need any software or training in order to do this. Let's get started. The first thing to do is open your browser. Then go to your website. That's simple enough to do. Then go to the page where you want to insert the PayPal buttons. I want to add a PayPal button right here under this graphic so I can sell a book and make some money. So here's my little trick which makes my method easy and simple. I click on this edit page button in my browser. This is a special button I'll show you how to get later. When I click it, presto, my page is now editable directly in my browser. I can do this on anybody's computer, mine, yours, a Macintosh, Windows computer, it doesn't matter. And I don't need any software and I don't need to know HTML. It's completely easy and anyone can do it. Notice that this toolbar looks a lot like Microsoft Word. So basically, I already know how to use it. I can make links, add pictures, edit text, and do everything I need to maintain my site right here. Then when I'm done, I just click this Publish button and the changes I made get saved to the web immediately. As soon as I click Publish, I'm done. There's nothing else to do. That's how easy and simple it can be. Alright, let's add a PayPal button right down here under this picture. All I need to do is place my cursor where I want the button to appear. Next, I use a little trick that I learned. I type in a bunch of Z's. Now this may seem a little strange, but the reason I do that is so I can easily drop code into this spot without knowing a thing about HTML. Here's what to do next. Click the HTML tab at the bottom, and don't panic, all we need to do is find that bunch of Z's. Scroll down, and here they are. They stick out like a sore thumb. This is so simple. Just highlight the bunch of Z's, then hit the Enter button a few times. This creates a nice obvious space where I can insert the PayPal code that we're going to get in the next step. Now I'm going to leave this window open and I'm going to open a new window and get into my PayPal account, which I've already done to speed things up for this video. I'm assuming you already have a PayPal account and that you know how to generate code for your buttons. It's very easy and PayPal does a great job guiding you through it. You just choose the kind of button you want, choose your pricing, name the button, and click to get your code. Once you get the code, simply copy it by right-clicking or by holding Control and pressing C on your keyboard. Next, I go back to the window where we began editing my web page. Remember how we used a bunch of Z's to find the right spot in my HTML? Well, this is the reason why, because now we have to place the PayPal code in exactly the right spot, which we've already determined. Just hold down Control and press V on your keyboard to paste in the code. Now we're practically done. Just go back to WYSIWYG mode by clicking the Design tab at the bottom, and there's the button. All we need to do now is save our work. Now I'm a big believer in previewing something before I save it. So I click the Preview button and have a look at the page. Well that looks great, exactly how I wanted it. So I can close the Preview window, and now I feel totally confident to click the Publish button, and my changes are made live on my website immediately. If I go back to my site now, I can view the page, and here's the button, and it works great. If you want to add PayPal buttons or do any other maintenance on your site without any software or training, then you should try NextEdit. It turns your browser into an editor, there's no installation to perform, and it's free to try. And as you can see from this video, it'll save you a lot of headache. So go get a free trial account at www.nextedit.com. Be sure to watch our other videos on how to grow your website and drop by at nextedit.com to get your free trial and say hello. We'd love to hear from you.